This video is a demonstration of the Trimble Estimation Desktop Mechanical. I will be reviewing the estimating side of things here today, but I want you to realize that as well as estimating, Trimble has a full suite of products available to the MEP marketplace. That includes project management and human resources software, procurement and fabrication capabilities, scanning and layout, even accounting ERP systems are available through Trimble, as well as the virtual design and construction software that can integrate with your different 3D modeling capabilities. Today I'll be discussing Trimble estimation. During the video you will see that there are default databases with labor and material built into the software. I'll be reviewing the digital takeoff as well as the summary reporting as well as a bid summary where you'll be able to plug in all the other numbers associated with the project. Reasons that MEP contractors use estimation are to help them increase speed, improve their accuracy, and also give consistency within an estimating department. With the license of estimation desktop, the contractor will have access to an electrical, HVAC as well as mechanical software to help them in each of those different trades. In this video we'll be discussing the mechanical estimating side of things which includes all things related to pipe that includes plumbing and mechanical hookups. Your processes on every project will simply be takeoff where you can enter quantities in, digital takeoff where you can pull in a PDF or a TIFF file or a JPEG and have it up on screen and simply use your mouse to do your measuring and counting to get your quantities. Summary where those quantities will be extended out and totaled up. That is where you'll be able to adjust your material, adjust your labor, and also run very specific material list reports if you need to. And then the bid summary where you're plugging in your overhead taxes, rates, sub numbers, and all the other numbers that come together to get you to the final price. These buttons here are basically your roadmap on every project, and that is the roadmap I will take you through here today. I will start with the digital takeoff. Coming into the software, when you open up takeoff, it'll ask you if you need to break the job up. You can break the job up into as much detail as you require. The more detail you break it up, the more detailed reports you'll be able to get out of the software. On the left hand side is my audit trail as I do my takeoff items will appear here. Below this are my options. My options are simply where I'm looking at the blueprint and I'm telling it what I require. I can identify the material category. This again is a full built database out of the box. Copper, all of your carbon steel categories, all of your PVC and CPVC all the way down to stainless steel. It's an extensive database, but depending on the material category you choose, the menu you see here will change appropriately. You can identify the size of the pipe that you require. You can identify if it requires hangers or insulation. And when you first bring a plan in, the software will prompt you to verify your scale by either measuring a known length or simply plugging a scale in. Once you've done that, you can identify how you wish to mark the plan up as far as what symbols for counting what line styles or thicknesses lines or transparency levels and what colors you might want to use in marking the plan up. This is similar to you grabbing a highlighter off of your desk or a colored pencil. Once you've done that, there's different tools for measuring or counting. Now in this case, I'm simply going to use something that is called single line takeoff and I'll click from point to point along a run of pipe. When I get to a change in direction, it will recognize when I make a change in direction or if I hit the edge of the screen, it'll automatically pan the screen for me. As I'm doing this, it's measuring out the appropriate quantities of pipe that I require and also picking up the any inline fittings like 90s or 45s for me automatically. When I choose pipe off of the menu, you notice it gave me the 118 foot run of pipe, but it's also picked up those three inline fittings. It's also marked it up on the plan. As you do this, also realize it's not just giving you pipe and fittings, it's given me the quantities of insulation I require. It has given me my clevis, beam clamp, all thread, all the parts and pieces for those hangers. It is also giving me 
all of my byproducts, my solder, flux, and abrasive cloth, because this is copper, are being given to me. It's calculating up couplings and pipe markers and even the, the gallons of water and glycol mix. So a lot happens in the background as you're doing this. When you're looking at the blueprint, if you have a branch, you can simply identify it's one and a quarter inch. You'll come over, you'll change your size that you require, and then you're, once again, I'm going to use a measuring tool that is called AutoFit, which recognizes when you come off a run of pipe you've already measured, and when you choose pipe, not only is it giving me my pipe, it's also giving me my reducing tape as well. Also, as you are doing this, realize that it is pre-built with PHCC labor out of the box. You also could get MCAA labor units as well if you do subscribe to the MCA web lab. You also have the ability to update pricing on a regular basis using trade service, which is part of the package. Trade service allows you to pull in list pricing on a regular basis and simply plug in your discounts you receive from your local vendors. So what would be reflected on the actual job is going to be list price minus that discount. Within the software, there are also what we call assemblies. Assemblies are common groupings of items. The idea is I don't want to have to think about every part and piece when I'm taking something off. Coming in here, if I came in and I needed to get the waste and vent hook up for some water closets, I can use an assembly. In this case, I'm choosing the water closet hookup. It's asking me, do I need a carrier? I'll say yes. It's also asking if I need a PVC to cast iron no hub adapter. And if you say yes, it's going to give it to you. If you say no, it's not going to give it to you. But it's given me that common grouping of items, all the parts and the pieces that I require for that hookup. There are assemblies in here for all kinds of different hookups. Both the water hookups for your plumbing side of things are here included all the way down to your water heaters and items like that. And also there are assemblies in here for the HVAC side where it's going to give you your coils, it's going to give you your chillers, boilers, steam traps, and so forth. Assemblies are a way to help make you faster as well as make you much more accurate on a regular basis. You can customize these assemblies, you can build your own assemblies as well. I also want you to realize you do not have to follow anything that is on the blueprint. If you're working on a floor plan where maybe things are not drawn in completely, you're able to use the software to draw things in as you see fit. It's going to mark it up on the plan, give you your pipe and fittings appropriately as well. So again, there are different tools in here to just help make life a little bit easier for you on a daily basis. Also, when you're dealing with a lot of addendum or revisions, the software gives you the ability to overlay plans on top of each other and have it search to find the differences between plans. In this case, I've got an original drawing. They've sent me a revision. What this will allow me to do is grab the revision, choose what colors I want the differences between the two documents to show up in, and it will overlay those plans on top of each other, searching to find the differences between them, and it will color code those differences. What you see here in red, that's where it was on the original. What you see in green is where it was moved on the revision. Over here, there is a size change. It went from 2 inch to 4 inch. It's once again just about helping you to be more accurate, be able to get to the information as quickly as possible. Even if they send you an 8.5 by 11, you can grab it, move it around, and fit it over top of the appropriate area, and then have the software search to find the differences between the two. With Estimation Desktop, we try to keep things as simple as possible. You're measuring your counting the way you might be doing things more the manual route now, but at the same time in the background, it's giving you all the parts and the pieces that you require to once again speed things up, but also give you all the accuracy you're looking for. That's kind of a walkthrough of the takeoff side of things, and there are a lot of other capabilities included with this, but that's a general high-level review of those specific things you'll deal with on a regular basis. The next step is the summary. When you choose summary, it is going to create a report with all the different items that have been taken off. It's going to total that up and it's going to allow you to go in and adjust material or adjust labor. As I mentioned previously, you can also use trade service 
on a weekly basis we send out updates that you can use to update your pricing within the database that's where you're pulling in a list price you're able to plug in your discounts or multipliers from your local vendors so what would be reflected here would be the list price minus the discount also it's coming pre-built with the PHCC labor units out of that and it's also going to be giving you your total material and your total labor on the job with this you have also the capability to use what we call supplier exchange where you could have a connection directly to some of your suppliers if they're keeping their pricing up to date on our exchange you'd simply be able to highlight items click a button and choose who you want to pull pricing in and it would pull that price in to the job and then you'd be able to pick and choose from multiple vendors if you wished what numbers you wanted to pull over to be used within these reports you also have the ability to use any of the breakouts that have been applied during the takeoff process to run reports that can be very, very detailed. I broke it out by system as I did my takeoff, so I'll be able to look at the job now broken up by system. It's given me my demolition, my sanitary below ground, my domestic water, and it's given me the material list for each area, total material, and total labor associated with the different areas of the job. All of these reports also can be exported out to Excel in a lot of different formats but the nice thing is it's going to pull in all the formatting all the calculations and all will be pulled into excel if you use excel a lot so the summary report is truly where you're checking your numbers you're checking the material you're checking the labor to make sure things are where you feel they should be from here you'll go to your bid summary your bid summary is a recap sheet it is completely customizable. This is a checklist to make sure you're not forgetting anything that you require for the job. With this report, you're going to be able to automatically pull in the total material cost, the total labor hours associated with the job, and then this is where you're going to plug in lump sum pricing possibly for fixtures or equipment with different vendors. You can plug in the different numbers choose whose price you want to use the top two here are reference only just the low prices being used but once again it's a checklist as you go down this if there's items here you don't want it's as easy as right click delete something or insert lines it's a very easy report to work within i've got some sales tax plugged in here i have that plugged into my permanent file so it's already calculating that when i get here i can have multiple templates as well for different jurisdictions if you deal with that I could plug in a flat labor rate for all of the hours, or I could break the hours up by foreman, journeyman, and apprentice, and then apply separate rates for those hours, whichever way you wish to do things. Miscellaneous hours, overtime hours, travel time, clean, clean up, testing, pipe IDing. It is a checklist to make sure that nothing is slipping through the cracks. You can flag items. Here, it's just a prompt allowing me to, until I plug a number in, only then will that flag disappear coming down here your subs if you're subbing out insulation or you're subbing out balancing you've also got the ability to plug in your overhead and, and this is where I could put in a flat overhead across the board or if you use different percentages for the material quoted items labor subcontracts it'll grab the subtotals from above and allow you to apply separate percentages profit bonding permits cost per square foot cost per fixture that's about giving you a reference number it's always about getting you to that final price with confidence in those numbers that you're working with we also do have one in excel which you can customize and adjust to make it work for you in excel if you would prefer that as i stated we went through digital takeoff allowing you to measure count and get your appropriate quantities summary where those quantities are extended and you're able to adjust that material and labor and finally the bid summary where you're able to plug in net overhead profit taxes rates sub numbers all the other numbers getting you to that final price that is more or less your roadmap on every project this was a high level demonstration of the trimble estimation desktop mechanical software if you have other questions please feel free to contact trimble we're more than happy to give a more in-depth demonstration if you do require that. Thank you very much.